I know how people describe me. They describe me as mental. And I'll just honestly turn around and say, it's not craziness. Passionate about what I do. I could not do a nine to five. My brain wouldn't be able to cope with it. What's normal life? What's normal life in, in this day and age? These are all the, the trucks gone. 102, 101, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five fire trucks and one ambulance. Keep it reporting. I love going into work. Like, you don't know what's going to happen. The next shooting, stabbing, someone in the river, boat overturned, car crashes, bus crashes. In Dublin, we're firemen, we are also paramedics. You don't know what you're going to go out to. So when the bell goes off, all you know is something's wrong. Your heart starts racing, you're going, this is it. When we get there, we know what we're doing, we get it done, and we save lives. But I think it is my, my calling, because I get to be a superhero every day. Everybody says, is money a factor? Money is a factor in everything in life. If you didn't have money, you couldn't do the things you loved. I get taxed 65% of my wage. 65% of our wages is taxed in public service. A lot of it goes to mortgage, and then my bills. So usually I have about 50 quid to play with. Like when I want to go surfing on the jet ski, I'm scraping money together to put money into that ski. I'm doing it out of the love, like I'll sacrifice. Like, like I've not, I haven't bought a new surfboard in about five years. Work will always get in the way. If surfing isn't your work, you're surfing out of pleasure, and you're working to make money to pay for that pleasure. All next, next Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, next week are going to be fun. <sighs> Some days I have to be at work and I can't get off. And I just have to suck it up. And it always kills me deep inside knowing the lads are getting <laughs> barreled off their heads and getting the best waves of their lives. Are you working? Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are the best days up there that I'm working. He has two different sides. He has his surfing and his kind of craziness. And then he's a complete different person when he's up in Dublin at work. He knows he has to do it. Yeah? What? It's dinner ready. What? She wants to go really You can't hear you. Coming. <laughs> My girlfriend, she's grand. Like, like, she has her own passions as well. We have a great understanding that she has her thing, I have my thing. I'm the, I'm the chef in this house. All you do is ask anyone that's actually coming here. Ask him what? I always cook. He doesn't see surfing as he, he can provide for like a family for the rest of his life. He knows he needs to have a job. Help? I usually cook. That's She's my helper. Life. She's my helper. If I can't get the day off and I miss a, an epic day, there's always another epic day. There will always be another epic day. I have to work to pay for the next epic day, so I get on with life. The barrels out there are ridiculous. Nature at its rawest. And you're just sitting there going, oh my God, this is amazing. I've always said to myself, you have to make one massive barrel out here in your lifetime. It was a horrible day. It was windy, it was big. I'm just sitting in the freezing wind, faking And this was like, this is Ireland. My first wave caught that day, I got hammered. I got skipped on the face and thrown out with the lip, smashed. Came up seeing the stars. I was like, right, one more and I'll be done. That's when I saw a line coming through. 
It didn't look like a massive one, but you could see that there was a lot of power in it. And all I could think of my brain was just, don't fall off. Came off looking at the lads going, did that just happen? I knew it was a good wave, but I never thought it was the best wave I'd ever caught. And then Rue, the photographer, comes over and goes, do you see this? And I'm like going, what's that? Who's that? He's like, that's you. And I'm like, no, it's not. And like, I, I got panicky because I saw the size of that lip. I was like, geez, if I had a land on me, I'd be dead. If you see a muddy lip, it's just different to everything. It's just full of volume. And it's throwing so far. If you mess up, this shit really does hit the fan. The safest place to be is inside the barrel, so you might as well enjoy the ride. But if the sea wants to kill you, it's gonna do it. If you know what you're doing, I think it minimizes the risks and the dangers because the bigger you get, the more you have to be prepared. Holy fucking shit! If something goes wrong and you don't have someone there to back you up, you're dead. And the only person's fault it is is yours, that's your dead. People are turning around and going, you're putting the rescue service's life in danger by going out to rescue if something goes wrong. I'll turn around and say, no, we're not. We're equipped to self-rescue. We do not want to put anybody's life in danger. Your, your surfing experience will not save your friend's life. I make sure that I have a good crew out there with us. The Mully crew at the moment is it's a tight-knit community up there. If something goes wrong, we all stick together. When someone goes down, they know exactly what needs to be done. Oh. It's like in the fire brigade. We go into burning buildings, but we're very trained to do it. We know what fire will do. Same when we go out to the sea. We know what wave the wave will break, which way you will get washed in. I would never put myself in danger that I want other people to come rescue me when I'm lying dead and on the inside. I would never, I've always told them, just leave me. Just leave me in there. I have a mortgage to pay, I have jet ski to pay off, I have everything to pay off. Surfing big waves, there's no point in getting injured, because if I get hurt, I don't have the backing to pay it off. I ride the horse! Woohoo! He likes to think he's calculated. I guess he is in his own head. To me, it seems a little crazy when he gets into the surfing, but he knows what to do in them situations, so I trust him. <laughs> my main priority is in life for my friends. You're, you're nobody without friends. 40 seconds from take off to kick out. When you want to go surf, you have to go with a friend because you, you'll catch a wave of your life if you're by yourself. You don't remember. But if there's someone there hooting you on, you'll remember and you have something to talk to. But I do see the need for working because work gives you an appreciation of what you have. Then pull, up, pull up my wire, do yeah? you? <laughs> People have turned around and they go, oh, well, you're going into work and you're going to be wrecked tired. And I'm going, no way will I be wrecked tired. After surfing, the best waves, and getting barrel off my head, I'm running on pure adrenaline for the next three days. If you want to go out there and you want to surf the biggest wave you can, you can do it. The limit is only based on what you perceive can be done. 